what is really good we are back with another pokemon sun and moon wi-fi battle really quickly just want to ask you guys to forgive me for not uploading any battles or anything like that uh the last couple of days i had to gather all my tax information for tax day on the 18th definitely waited to the last minute because fuck taxes but um i uh spent the 17th and the 18th getting my taxes done so that the irs doesn't fuck me in the ass even more and then yesterday i just spent the day chilling uh i didn't really want to do anything because i you know stayed up for hours and hours getting my taxes done but today i had to upload something so we got a late night bgc battle here against my boy tito tot i'm gonna leave his stream link in the description or i'm not quite sure if he has a youtube channel or whatever but i'll definitely get that from him because uh you should definitely check him out man he makes some good video content some good vgc stuff smash bros stuff all that good stuff anyways i got this team from my boy joey as you already know okay you already know uh but i really like the you know the construction of this team it's basically set up trick room click belly drum on something and <laughs> and and kill everything in one hit oh my kind of team people my kind of team anyways he's gonna predict me to go for the fake out on his whimsicott very smart and he's also gonna switch out into his uh tapu fini but i'm just gonna go for the trick room with mimikyu mimikyu gets trick room yes it's kind of strained but i like it so in this battle my man tito brought something very interesting okay so it looks like his plan here is to set up the terrain with something and then use nature power to force the terrain to make his nature power the type of move that the terrain is. But that's not all, folks. Nature power does not count as an attacking move, and Whimsicott has the ability Prankster. Therefore, he now has Stab Priority Moonblast. Whoever thought about this and came up with this specific set of things is truly a genius. Uh, but anyways, I went for the Z Belly Drum, which actually restores your health before it cuts it down. So you can use Belly Drum at any HP, and it'll be perfectly fine. And then I hit my Hariyama with the Psych Up. So now my Mimikyu also has plus six attack. We are out here. We both have plus six attack. We are chilling. It is time. But the thing about that is, even though we're under the Trick Room, uh, he's just going to go for the Priority Moon Blast and <laughs> kill me either way. So it doesn't matter. Uh, but my uh, Mimikyu is still going to be chilling here with, uh, you know, max attack. So that's all good. He actually protected with his Tapu Fini. He knew damn well I was going to attack it with my Mimikyu. So right now I'm sitting, chilling, plus six attack, trick room up, minus speed nature, no speed IVs or EVs. We're out here. So because of that, I'm sending out my Snorlax. But he knew, he knew goddamn well. I was definitely about to use Belly Drum, man. Again, I'm telling you, everything is using Belly Drum on this team. I have plus six Mimic, y'all. Definitely about to get a plus six Snorlax, uh, but he was wise to taunt me there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is switch out because I don't want to be taunted because you know <laughs> I can't do what I want to do. I don't want to attack. I want to get my boost in Aiders and then attack. Uh, so I'm gonna send out my Slow King, who also has Trick Room, by the way. He's gonna go for the Protect, knowing that I would, you know, potentially attack his Garchomp with the play rough, uh, but he's actually gonna taunt my Mimikyu. I'm not quite sure if he was trying to stop me from using Trick Room in the future. Probably, I'd assume so, right? Uh, but I actually have the Mental Herb to guarantee that I get off Trick Room in the beginning of the battle. Um, so that's good for me. He really didn't do anything that turn besides use Protect on his Garchomp, so uh, no progress made on his side. Uh, now here he makes a questionable play. Now he taunts my Mimikyu, which doesn't really make sense considering what he does next, okay? So I, I know why he taunted my Mimikyu. He doesn't want me to use Trick Room, obviously. But there's also a Slow King right next to my Mimikyu. And Slow King 99% of the time has Trick Room on, uh, in VGC. But why it didn't make sense is because of this next move here. I don't think he realized that Tectonic Rage was definitely more than enough to kill a Mimikyu. <laughs> But at the same time, it's not like he knows my my nature and my um, you know my EV spread, so maybe he thought this Tectonic Rage wouldn't kill, but it definitely kills. So he used Taunt on a Pokemon that was gonna die that turn anyways, because Trick Room goes last on the turn no matter what. It has like minus six priority. So had he not known that my Mimikyu would would die, then then it makes sense. But if he knew my Mimikyu would die either way, then going for the Tectonic Rage. Uh, on Mimikyu after taunting it doesn't make any sense because basically what I'm saying is he taunted the wrong Pokemon uh, and the reasoning behind it didn't make any sense. So I was able to get off a Trick Room, Tapu Koko comes out, I'm going to go for the Belly Drum uh, and here he makes a good play. He actually did not know that I had a Figgy Berry. <laughs> 
So I go for the belly drum and the figgy berry restores me back up to full. He double attacked my Snorlax because he assumed that I'd be at half right now after using the uh, belly drum. And had I been at half, I definitely would have died to the Dragon Claw plus Thunderbolt. Uh, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> I had the Figgy Berry, which restored my HP uh, up quite a bit. Now here, he knows I have plus six attack. He's expecting me to attack his Tapu Koko, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go for the Recycle, which is going to allow me to bring back the Figgy Berry, restore my HP again, and basically clinch the battle, guarantee that I win. Um, but that doesn't really guarantee that I win yet. This next turn does, because I'm definitely about to hit him with the Scald. <laughs> and you know I spit hot fire, boy! So this basically confirms that I win the game because he's not going to be doing too much damage to me with a Burns Guard Chomp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you cannot harm me, bitch. You know what the fuck I am? My suit is so tight! Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and go for the return on his top of Coco. Um, I'm pretty sure that Figgy Berry caught him off guard. Not the Figgy Berry. The Recycle caught him off guard. He wasn't expecting that. Um, which is what allowed me to win the battle because he protected instead of attacking um, And because of that I was able to get all my HP back as well as burn the guard chomp so that he doesn't do any damage to me uh, But he's just gonna die to the burn and that is going to be the entire battle. That is the whole game Thank you guys for watching uh, Really do appreciate it. Shout out to my boy Tito We actually had a battle right before this but the team I was using was actually the worst team I've ever seen in my entire life Shout out to the RMT that I got it from <laughs> so I decided to have another one uh, and we use this one instead uh, he was able to show you guys his very very creative um, whimsicott there uh, so go check out his channel go check out his twitch uh, I will leave all that stuff in the description for my boy Tito I am out of here bye hit that like button comment and subscribe